What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys a strong meta team to help you guys push Master Gear in the brand new season. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by my main man Clover Bells. Huge shout out to Clover Bells. If you guys want to go check out his channel or grab the Pokey Paste to this team, head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But like I said, I want to use this meta team today not just to grab some wins for you guys, but to also give you guys a good team for the rank ladder. And this team seems to fit the meta perfectly. You got a Lolan Ninetales on it, who's a great weather control Pokemon, alongside with Aurora Veil. You got Fire Ogre Pond, who's top tier on the physical attack inside. And then you got other Pokemon like Milotic, Landorus, Golden Go, and Warm Moon that really just synergizes this team together and just makes it a pretty strong team. But first Pokemon that we're going to talk about for today's team preview is in the top left hand corner. We got Roaring Moon, Protosynthesis, and the Booster Energy, then a great move set of Acrobatics, Knock Off, Dragon Ants, and Protect. Love this Pokemon right here. Second slot is Ninetales. Not really much to talk about. Everything is straight up normal. Normal move set with the Roar Bell, two stab moves and protect, and then Light Clay and Snow Warning. We got Golden Go in our third slot, and that's another Pokemon we don't really have to talk about too much, considering you guys seen this Pokemon tons of times before. Got Leftovers as item, and then normal move set of Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Pot, and Protect. Fourth slot is going to be Fire Ogre Pond. Now, this Pokemon has been top tier ever since it's dropped into this game. It's got Hearth Flame Mask with the Mold Breaker as its ability, and then it's got Ivy Cudgel. Woodhammer, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. In our fifth slot is Choice Scarf Landers, and I feel like in the meta, Choice Scarf Landers is the best way to use Landorus right now. It's got Intimidate with Terra Blast, Stomp and Catch, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. In our final slot is a Pokemon that I absolutely love and haven't used too much in the rank ladder. It's just going to be Milotic. It's got Competitive to deal with Intimidate Pokemon, it's got Citrus Berry as item, and it's got Scald, Recover, Icy Wind for some Speed Control, and last but not least, it's got Protect. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Run the code is that top right hand corner. Well, let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to showcase this Milotic meta team. First match coming at you guys. We are going up against a pretty cool team. They got Ursa Luna alongside with Vickavolt. And what I'm not seeing here is a Pokemon that can set up Trick Room. Unless Grimmsnarl can do it. Right? They have two Trick Room Pokemon without a Trick Room setter, but I think they're just here to protect themselves from Trick Room. Say if I had a Trick Room team, then they would bring them in. But their other four Pokemon, which I think they're going to bring, is going to be Grimmsnarl, the Great Tusk, Golden Go, and Urshifu. So how should I play this one? Do I just set up a War Veil? I feel like that's just a pretty simple turn, right? If they're going to set up screens, we might as well set up screens here as well, and maybe just go in the War Moon and try to set up a Dragon Dance, because I would love to pop a Dragon Dance right here. Little D dance action. I love it. I do like it. I do like it. So, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into both of these Pokemon. I'm going to bring Ogre Pond in the back end. And last but not least, I like having Milotic. I think Milotic's just such a nice, bulky Pokemon. Really good for back end support. Plus, if we need a bit, a bit of speed control, I can always go into it, pop an Icy Wind, drop their speed, and uh, take it from there. So, yeah. This team looking pretty good. That the one we're using, I should say. It's looking pretty good up against the, uh, the team that we're going up against. So we'll just see who they want to lead. But again, I don't really see them bringing Vickavolt or Ursaluna. But they end up leading these two, and it's safe to just pop an Aurora Bell, right? It's so safe to pop it. It's super safe. So I'm going to pop a Aurora Bell, and I think I'm just going to D-Dance, right? I got to D-Dance. I have to D-Dance. So yeah, Aurora Bell coming out and about. Um... I could Terrasilize and Flying if I want to, but I just think D-Dance is just a solid turn for us. Because they're going to set up a screen. We might want to Terrasilize next turn. And there's a Reflect Out. Does he get a Nasty Plot? That's a real question. I do have Knock Off. He's just going to pop to make it rain. I'm actually super surprised that outspeeds my Ninetales. Are you Choice Scarfed? You get a crit on my Ninetales as well. Are you Choice Scarfed? That's the real question. Or is this Ninetales just that slow? I gotta see that Ninetales speed, because you're really outspeeding my Ninetales like that. So I get the lovely boost, I get all that cooking. Um, do we just go into Milo here? No, we should go into Ogre Pond. I gotta see that Ninetales speed, hold up, hold up, you outspeeding me like that? That's a little wild. 
That is a bit too wild for, for me. So let, let me see this nine tails. How you got you gotta be pretty fast. Yeah, you are choice scarfed. You are you are your choice scarfed. You're choice scarf gold to go. You are choice scarf gold to go. That's real ugly. So I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel here. Um and I'm just gonna protect. I think now's just a good turn just to protect here. That is wild. That is wild that you're choice scarfed. That is wild. Thunder Wave's gonna come out here. We're gonna block it, which is great. He's gonna be able to pop another Make It Rain. Yeah, you're Choice Scarf. We just, what are you doing? You are Choice Scarf. That is unreal. Unreal. Threw me off. And you get two crits? What? Why are you getting two crits like that? Crits, no problem. Ivy Culture coming out here. He's gonna KO. It doesn't even KO. It's crazy how you get two crits and I don't get one crit on, on a move that's. That's used to bulk out. It's used to bulk. So from here, I'm just gonna drop that and he might just thunder wave me here. I could go for acrobatics, I could go for knockoff. I'm gonna terrestrialize Roar Moon here. He's gonna thunder wave me. We don't like this. Actually, you can't thunder wave me. You actually can't thunder wave me. I gotta say Dark Type. I have to say Dark Type. You can't Thunder Wave me. Let's have Withdrawal and Golden Go. That's fine. You cannot Thunder Wave me. I'm Dark Type. I'm Dark Type. So Prankster will really help us out here. Yep. Told ya. Told ya. Good thing I didn't change my typing. Dracker Back's gonna fly through here. Still doing decent damage there. Ivy Culture gonna chip up a little bit. Um. Oh yeah, there's the crit. We wanted that. We wanted that all day. We wanted that all day. Um. I think I'm just gonna spiky shield here. And get rid of you? Correct? Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of you. Oh my lord. It's getting a little crazy here. It's getting a little crazy. But we're gonna see a nice little terror type come out here. Maybe I should terrestrialize my warning moon here. But he's gonna terrestrialize Urshifu into straight dark. So he's looking to sucker punch. And I think he's gonna go after my ogre pond. I really do. I really do see him going uh, for Sucker Punch into my Ogre Pond. That's why I Spiky Shield here. I'm not trying to die out here. I really am not. So we're going to hope that. And no, you're going after Roaring Moon. Can you soak this Roaring Moon? You do. Lovely. Lovely. Goes for Thunder Wave again. And this time Ogre Pond's blocking it. And that's pretty big that we get rid of him. The Acrobats comes to real. We get rid of you. So even losing Nine Tails and playing through this Reflect, we're still playing pretty well here. We have Golden Go on low HP. Grimson is just chilling. It hasn't set up the Light Screen yet, which I'm kind of happy about, because if I can keep it from setting up Light Screen and have Milotic come in the back end, that'd be pretty good. That could be pretty good. So they're either going to throw out their final Pokemon or go back into Golden Go here. They choose to go back into Golden Go. Who's again, Choice Scarfed. And I think from here, we just drop an Ivy Cudgel. And I should be able to outspeed Golden Go here. I know he's Choice Scarf, but I'm plus one on speed, and I have uh, <clears throat> Booster Energy. I'm Booster Energy Speed. So I should be able to outspeed him. And I do, which is huge. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to do the knockoff hand slap. I love how that, that moves animation. It's like, get on out of here. Just slaps the hand down. And there's the Choice Scarf. You were really choice scar. Give me a crit here. Let me get a crit here. No, we don't get the crit. It's just gonna go for a foul play. Can you eat this? Big time eats. Big time eats. So the snow finally stops, but it didn't really matter. And I got these two Pokemon out on the field. The chances are my Roaring Moon should be able to outspeed anybody, and it's just you. And what's my play? Because you can hyper voice. You can definitely hyper voice, or you could protect. I could get rid of Grimmsnarl. I could get rid of Grimmsnarl. Um, but the thing is, I should just do this. Now, what's what's called Terror type? You have a Dragon Terror type. I, I mean, I think we just attack. I'm gonna terrestrialize. I'm gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel here. And I'm just gonna look to finish off Grimstone here. So one of them could protect. 
One of them could definitely protect. But losing our Nine Tails like that really put us in a hole. But honestly, Ogre Pond and War Moon really get a lot of work done, especially if we're getting off that Dragon Dance. Now I'm gonna put the mask on just for that big time attack boost and the damage boost for fire moves. And we're gonna hope Ursaluna does not protect. It does have vacuum leak, and I kinda forgot about that. But still, I don't mind getting off this Ivy Cudgel here. But this could be some big time damage. And he's just gonna foul play make KO me. Can we get a crit here? Good old vacuum leaf. Can we get a crit here? Don't get the crit. Still, I like the damage. There's the foul play. Now it's two turns to a 2v1. This does turn into a 2v1, but I have Milo. I have Milo. They don't have light screen ups yet. Yeah, they could just set it up, no problem. But Milo's gonna come out here. Milo's gonna come out here. I think we, I don't know who we target down here. I think we have to target down you. Cause I think the only attacking move Grimstarl has is foul play. So if we just target down Mew, I think we can kind of get things done here. So there's the light screen comes out and about. They don't have Terra because they use it on... Uh, wow, we don't pick up K. Give me a burn. We don't get that. And Blood Moon's going to come out here. They don't have Terra. That's doing a lot of damage here. Um, I have Citrus Spray, which is massive. I don't think you can use Blood Moon twice in a row, so... Do I recover here? We just Icy Wind. He's gonna Thunder Wave me, which kinda sucks. Yep, there's Thunder Wave. You're not gonna be able to outspeed Ursa Luna. Little problem. Little problem. But I think you should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, right? Yes. Icy Wind, can you land? Icy Wind lands. Is that double KO? It's single KOs. Alright. Now, here's the little problem that we have. Here's the little problem that we have. I have to I have to either land an attack or land a recovery here. And be able to soak up whatever he has. I'm going to go for the recover more so than anything. I mean, does it really matter what we go for? I'm just going to go for recover. We just have to land one of them. And we outspeed. Awesome. Beautiful. Cool. We outspeed because of the icy one. I'm gonna drop a recover. I'm gonna get back a ton of HP. How much is this foul play doing? It was, yo, it was doing 34 exactly. And that's how much HP we had, which is wild, which is wild. So recover coming in clutch. We're out speeding now with Icy Wind and Milotic clutching up match number one. What a first match. We lost nine tails, Roaring Moon, Ogre Pond came in hot, collecting a bunch of KOs and then Milotic clutched it up in the end. We love it, ladies and gentlemen. We love starting off videos 1-0. But we're hopping into our second match, and I even like this a little bit more. We're going up against Typhlosion. Such a cool Pokemon. You don't see that too much on the rank ladder. But they got Typhlosion alongside with regular Ninetales to set the sun. And then they got Hisui and Logan with Thrives in the sun. Same thing with Chiyu. So this is just a sun team. Sun team with Glaring Moltres and Grimstone. So we definitely want to bring in our Alolan Ninetales in the back end to try to have some weather control on this team. But Pokemon that I think that are going to be solid for us is going to be Landorus. Landorus is going to be super effective onto all those fire types with its ground moves. Then it also has a uh, a rock move to be super effective onto the bird, an air move to be super effective onto the Lilganth. It's just such a good Pokemon. So I definitely want uh, Landorus in there somewhere. But I also might want to lead a Pokemon like Milotic just for some speed control. Is there any other way I can get speed control? Could lead Warm Moon. That's not bad. Warm Moon's not a bad lead here. So I'm going to lead Warm Moon. And I think I might just lead Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We will bring Ninetales in the back end and have Lando here as well. Alright, cool. So we're leading Warm Moon and Ogre Pond. You guys seen what they did in the last match. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Even without Ninetales. Ninetales dying out to a Choice Scarf Golden Go. You don't see that too often. I was very surprised. But luckily I was able to set up that Dragon Dance. Have booster energy speed boost on top of that, and then my Warm Moon was outspeeding that Golden Go, which really helped us win that battle. But they end up going into these two. These two are gonna come out here. Um, and I can see two things happening here. This match is gonna be tough for us. I can see him swapping into Nine Tails, which could be a little bit of a problem for us. Then he sets the Sun, or I can see him setting up a Reflect. Two options here. Um, 
I have acrobatics. I have dragon dance. I kind of want to set up a dragon dance. Not even gonna lie, dragon dance is just so much fun. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up a dragon dance, and I'm just gonna ivy cudgel the Logan slot. Maybe I should have put on my mask with Terrasilize, but I feel as I feel as saying grass type is good because sleep powders. But they're gonna Terrasilize the Logan. And Logan's going to go into a straight water type, which is a little, a little odd, right? You really see more low against Ghost than anything, so seeing a water one's kind of kind of rough for me. And he ends up just faking me out. Okay. A nice little fake out comes here, and he goes for Sleep Powder, which we dodge. Big time dodge. We love that dodge. It's a big time dodge. That's a big time dodge. So now taking off Sash, we might just want to... What do I want to do here? I feel like there's a chance that they swap. I'm gonna protect. I could go follow me. Because what move would they most likely be going for? Like a fighting move? I'm gonna Dragon Ants follow me. Because if they wanna swap now, that's fine by me. If they wanna swap Grimstar now into fire, we can just follow me the shot and then swap next turn. But I'm just gonna follow me here. I'm gonna set up the Dragon Ants. I want it. I want the Dragon Ants. It's just so good. The Dragon Dance comes out here and tries to go for an after you. I think that might have been a misclick. And I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it all day. So we get off the Dragon Dance. Let's see what Grimstone goes for. A Spirit Break. That's totally fine. With the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond says that's the tastiest snack he's ever seen. And he's able to soak really well. So now from here, with the Dragon Dance boost, I mean, if Logan, we're just going to do that. If they're going to swap into anything, they're going to swap into Nine Tails, and Ivy Culture can still do a nice chunk of damage, so I'm just going to target that down. So out comes the Grimstone, in comes the Nine Tails. I still think Warm Moon outspeeds Logan. I really do. I really do. Plus one speed boost, boost to energy speed boost. You should be outspeeding. You should be outspeed. You should be outspeed. I'm really hoping this, right? Because this could be a huge turning point in the game. Huge turning point in the game. We don't. And luckily I terrestrialized too. We don't outspeed. But that terror was massive. That's a big time terror. It's a big time terror. So we'll be able to get rid of Logan here. Which is huge. Assuming Logan's a big time threat in the sun. And now I get rid of it. And Ivy Cudgel I think still does a good amount of damage onto this Nine Tails. Right? Ogre Pond hits like a truck. Give it the sun boost now, too, even if it's not very effective, like you've seen on Logan. It's still doing a massive amount of damage. It KO'd! Oh my, I don't, even, I don't even have the mask on. It's critting and it's KOing. That is absurd. This Pokemon's broken. Too broken. A bit too broken, right? A bit too broken. Oh my lord. I'm surprised every time I use this Pokemon. Because it just, it just, like, amazes me how hard it hits. But now Typhlosion comes out here alongside with Grimstrong. And right now, I'm fastest on the field. Um, definitely want to acrobatic somebody. But who? Could acrobatic Typhlosion. Because Typhlosion is really the only threat here. I'll actually change up the weather here. So now I get weather control for the rest of the game. We won't allow them to have that sun boost. We just simply won't. And I'll target down Typhlosion, because once I get rid of Typhlosion, Grimstone doesn't really have a that many attacking moves to kind of KO us. And he ends up faking out here, which actually could be big in the eruption. Actually, that's really scary. I totally forgot this Grimstone was rocking fake out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It did it turn one, and I, I just I just forgot about it. Well. Alright. I see you. I think he's Choice Scarf, but I still like her positioning here. I think he is Choice Scarf, that Typhlosion, but I'm Choice Scarfed as well with Landers. That's pretty good. That's rather well. So they can't Terra anymore, which is beautiful. Now I gotta actually think. I thought we had this one pretty much wrapped up. I totally forgot. That's my bad. That's my bad. Um, I could go Rock Side, but Stomping Cantrum can be a little bit better. I'm gonna Stomping Cantrum him, and... And I guess I'll just spiky shield this turn, to be honest with you. Let's just spiky shield up here. He 
end up setting up a reflect. I still think this does more than half, and we outspeed, right? No, you're outspeeding me. That's a little absurd that you're outspeeding me. You're fast, but he's fast. He's flying. You should be able to soak this, Lando. Okay, Lando soaks, which is beautiful. Stop with Hansel coming in hot here. And that's almost Kaon, so he, he's definitely Choice Scarf. He's not doing that much damage now. He's not going to be able to KO my lander, so I'm going to do that, and I'm also just going to Ivy Cudgel in Strong Slot. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, right? Because Typhlosion, got to be Choice Scarf if he's outspeeding me. And on top of that, Eruption's based on HP, so he is not doing enough damage to KO my Landorus. So he's going to go first, he's going to drop an Eruption. My Pokemon are going to be able to soak in problem. And then Landorus is going to KO him. And never mind, they just canceled battle. So we were going to win regardless. There's a 2-0 record for you guys. Final match is here, and we're staying hot. Stay hot, Jeans. We're 2-0. Let's look to go 3-0 here. Full tricking team with Annihilate. Always a threat. Always a problem. Don't like going up against Annihilates, but we'll have to deal with it here in match number three. They also got Ndidi, Ursa Luna, Amoongus, Farigarev, and Torkoal. Um, hmm. What's the plan here? What's the plan here? Because I can totally see them just going Annihilate, and I don't like that one bit. I do like Roaring Moon here, though. I do like Roaring Moon here with the dark moves with the uh, boost energy. So I'm going to end up leading him. I just like it so much. Um... Second slot, we could go maybe like Nasty Pot Golden Go. <laughs> Try to get that cooking. That could be pretty good. But we kind of need a Pokemon to shut down the Trick Room Centers. And with that, we could just go Ogre Pond and just have a big time damage with Roaring Moon and Ogre Pond. Something I really like. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to lead both of them. We're going to lead both of them. I'm going to bring Milo Milo in the back end. And then last but not least, probably Golden Go. I like Golden Go's typing up against a couple of these guys. So yeah, I'm going to go Golden Go. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Maybe I should have brought Lando to deal with the Torkoal, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're already 2-0, and you guys know when I'm 2-0 and we hop into third and final battles, it's all about fun. It's all about fun. It's all about showcasing the team a little bit more because we already grabbed ourselves a winning record. But obviously, a perfect record is better than, than a winning record. So we're going to aim for that. We're going to aim for that. But again, I don't know why I always struggle with Annihilate. They just play so well up against me, or I just don't play well up against me. They end up going into these two. He can end up bulking up. Um, he can end up doing a lot here. Bulking up. He could just protect. And maybe try to set up a trick room. That could be a little bit of a problem for us. But I'm just going to boost your energy here. He could drain punch me. I might just terrestrialize. I'm thinking I'm just terrestrializing here. Now what would do more damage? This would be double damage, and it would get the stab boost. This already gets the stab boost, and it is super effective. I think knockoff still does more. Yeah. I'm terrestrializing just so I don't take a lot of damage to... To Drain Punch if he opts to go into that. So, I'll give the Roar Moon a bunch of balloons over its head. And I'm going to hope that uh, Annihilate either Drain Punches my Roar Moon. Or goes to a protect and we can just get rid of it and DD and kinda kinda stop trick room here. And he goes for final gambit. It's a final gambit. Come on now. That's so season like two. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's so season two. So now he's gonna get off trick room. But the final gambit's so good. I used to use it all the time. But knock off KOing. Knock off's KOing. We love it. We love it. Let's go. Let's go. It's big time. Knockoff's KO. It's huge that knockoff KOs. And I think we just save Milo or do we bring Milo? Because who would they bring out here? I wish I could see their Pokemon. Who did they have? They, they had another Trick Room setup, which would have been uh, for Rigorath. Did we think they brought for Rigorath? Maybe. I think we just go in the Golden Go here. Now that we have speed, and we know we have speed, we just start attacking heavy. But now I'm going to come Torkoal. We should have went into Milo, but <laughs> but Golgo will do just fine. We don't have Terraform. I just want to double down, depending on who they bring out here. It's going to be the bear. Okay. So the bear comes out here. I kind of just want to Acrobatic you. I might double down Torkoal. Do we think he protects? I don't think he protects. I really don't. I think he looks just get off damage. I'm, I'm double down Torkoal. Togo, you're not protecting. I'm telling you right now, you're not protecting. So, Terra's gonna come out here. It's gonna go into the bear. 
I think Torkoal's gonna die. He goes to a nice little fairy typing. I'm terrified here. I'm terrified. Do not protect Torkoal. He does. Okay, cool. So Torkoal's not protecting. We don't want to really get off that much damage, so that's why we're doubling down into it. And I'm hoping the Shadow Ball can just KO, right? Come on, Golden Go. I brought you here for a reason. Big time KO. All day, baby. Little turtle, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Moonblast's gonna get cooking here. That's fine. More Moon should be able to soak this. All day. All day. And wow, they only have one Pokemon left? I thought they had one more. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. 3 0 perfect record for you guys. All day long. Acrobatics probably gonna do about half. And on top of that, make it rain coming out here. Come on, man. That's way too easy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 3 0 perfect record with this meta team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not one, not two, but all three wins in today's video. Absolutely killed it. Got Milotic out in a couple of them. But Roaring Moon and Ogre Pond together is just a broken combo. They just get set up. They can hit like trucks. And it's pretty much just GG's from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.